Hello, let's draw an Archimedean spiral, also known as an arithmetic spiral. The Archimedean spiral has the property that any ray from its origin intersects successive branches of the spiral at points with a constant separation distance. So the first step is to mark a point in the center of the screen, which will be the starting point of the spiral, called zero, or the origin. So the next step is to draw a circle with any radius and this radius will also be the length of a full turn of the spiral. So now having drawn our circle we are going to divide its circumference into 12 equal parts. To do this we must draw vertical and horizontal diameters. So first the horizontal diameter and now a perpendicular vertical diameter. So the next step now, setting our compass to the length of the radius and centered on the left end of the horizontal diameter, we scribe two arcs above and below intersecting the circumference at two points, as can be seen here in the video. Now repeating this process, setting our compass on the other side of the horizontal diameter, we scribe two more arcs, cutting our circumference below and above the diameter, as can be seen here. And again, with the same length, setting our compass on the bottom of the vertical diameter, we scribe two more arcs to the left, and to the right, making two more points cutting on our circle. And again, setting our compass at the top end of the vertical diameter, we scribe two more arcs on our circumference, on the right and on the left. As can be seen here in the video. So now that we have the 12 divisions of the circle, we draw diameters joining these divisions through the center point, as can be seen here. So we will have four new diameters, which will join the points that we have previously marked. And finally here we will join our last two marks. So as you can see we've divided our circle into 12 segments. So now we will number the divisions from 1 to 12. So the next step is to divide the radius 12 0 into 12 equal parts. To do that we are going to use Thales theorem and also we're going to use red lines. So to start we will draw a diagonal line of any angle from the left side of this radius. Now we are going to scribe 12 equal measurements on the diagonal line. We can do this using a ruler or a compass. Then we will join the 12 point to the right end of the radius 12 0 as can be seen here. And from now on we will draw parallel segments to the previous junction as shown in the video through successive marks previously drawn. I remind you that accuracy is very important in this part of the exercise. To do this I use a 45 degree set square with a protractor in its center with the software we use to record these videos. But you should do it with a 45 degree and 90 degree set square. 
These parallel lines will intersect the radius in 12 equal parts, as shown here. So here's our seventh division. Our eighth. Our ninth. our 10th and finally our 11th division. So now we will number these divisions from 1 to 11 as can be seen here and the next step is to draw 11 circles in blue centered on the point 0 passing through the 11 new divisions. The 12th division is our original circle. So here our first circle is with radius 0, 11. Our second circle has radius 0, 10 and so on until we have completed 11 internal blue circles. Here's our seventh circle with radius zero seven. Our sixth with radius zero six. Our last two with radius 0, 2 and radius 0, 1. Each circle that we draw from 1 to 12 is going to cut our corresponding divisions from 1 to 12, and each of these corresponding points are points on our Archimedean spiral, starting at point 0, the center of our original circle. We are going to mark each of these intersections with red dots, as can be seen here in the video. Now, there are two ways to complete our Archimedean spiral. We can join the dots freehand to complete the spiral, or we can use the help of a curved template ruler. And here we can see our complete Archimedean spiral. So I hope this video has helped you. Uh, please click like or subscribe to our channel. Thank you.